Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Green Hell. All right, today we are going to continue along the lines of exploring the new update. Uh, we are going to head on over to the new area. I'm going to go to the steamboat. I think it's called the steamboat. Remember the boat I found when I did the update, like, I don't know, on the test branch like a few videos ago? Well, we're going to go back there because there's supposed to be some kind of map in there, and I'd really like to find the map. So we're going to head to Steamboat, and we're going to look at some other POIs there. There's like a blue boat or whatever, and I'm going to try and find some stuff. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. should be a lot of fun. Let me go ahead and take care of my... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, okay, I don't want those seeds on me. <laughs> uh, where do they go? They go in here, right? Uh, dry leaf. They do go in there, right? Yeah, I don't know. I can't find them. Whatever. I don't care that much. They don't take up that much room. They don't barely weigh anything. Let's just pick up the bananas and eat them right here. I try to eat them off the ground, but... I don't know. There's a little bit of lag sometimes when I use the right-click option to do this. So, you know, sometimes it causes some issues. It's okay. All right. There we go. And let's get some water and some protein. And then we're going to head on out. Okay. All right. Looking good. Looking good. I got some locations for these things. We're looking for the blue boat. And we're looking for the steamboat. And after that, eh, we'll find whatever we can. You know, we'll just kind of mess around, see how, how long. But I, I really like the map for the area. That's my number one uh, thing I'd like to do. Uh, I don't want to harvest. I know it only takes a second, but I want to get going. I purposely woke up early so I could get the heck out of here. Okay, I can't pick any of those off there because they're all bad. If I take them off, they spoil instantly. And I think we're looking pretty good. Do I have enough bandages and stuff? I got a pretty good amount of bandages. I could probably always find more out there. Or I could always just be careful. So let's go ahead and save the game. With all the stuff I'm carrying, I'm actually uh, kind of, like, heavy. So got to be careful with what I take. All right, so here we are. And if you want to know the location of how I'm getting up there to the new area, I will show you. I wrote down on my list 49.29, but I got to change that because it's 49.31. So, what are you going to do? Anyway, you're looking for this uh, climbing place. And you climb up there, and then it's going to lead you into a cave system. Okay, and the only thing you have to worry about in the cave system... Uh, well, <laughs> normally the only thing you have to worry about in cave systems is the scorpions. Right there. Right? But in this cave system, there's also spiders. Which is kind of awful. There's also iron, though, which is really cool. I can, like, come here to mine some iron. There you go. And it's uh, really close to my base. So that means that there's two cave systems really close to my base with iron. And over here is where the spider is. He's right there. I think that's a bird eater, so I could probably use that for awesome bandages. And here we are in the new area. Okay. Oh, crap. Crap. All right, so when I came here the first time, like about a... I think it was like a week or two ago, I did a video because this this... You know, this update was on the test branch. So I upgraded, I, I went to the test branch and I, I, you know, made a video of it and I came back to the regular branch. And when I came here on the test branch, there was nobody over there. Over there is a tribal village. There's, I don't think, as far as I know, there is no new recipes in this part of the map. Like, there's no new recipes. So uh, there's no reason to go to the tribal village except if you just want to, like, kind of look around. Which is cool, but I looked around in that last video, so I don't need to go fight them. All right. So that is interesting. There, there was nobody there, like, you know, two weeks ago when I went on the test branch. So that is a bit of a, um, it's a bit of a shocker right there. And it's going to lead me to believe, well, I, I originally thought that there wouldn't be a lot of enemies in this area. Because when I came here two weeks ago, there was like maybe one, there was like one crocodile or alligator or whatever. And I saw him from like a mile away. So it was no problem at all. But, you know, I think we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled at this point because, you know, we, we didn't take two steps into the place before we saw some, you know, some tribal people. All right, so we need to keep he heading southeast. So I think this is probably the way to go. Or not. That does not look like it's going southeast, so I will not go in there. Uh, we're looking for 3642, which means we need to get west down, which means we need to head east. And we need to get south up, which means we head south. So that's why we're heading southeast. And, yeah, we're looking pretty good. All right. Come through here. I'm just worried about snakes. Spider here and there. I usually run into spiders, but, you know, snakes are 
fuck was that? Did you hear that? It went raw. Like, oh, okay, it was one of those guys. All right, I don't hear them often, so that that, that scared me. I think, I think we're gonna go through here. Yeah, this is looking, this is looking a bit scary, and a bit dark. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit, so you guys can see all of the horror. All right, I'm gonna go this way. Thought I heard something. And, okay, so here we got a cave system, and that is directly heading southeast. So I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go into this cave. And we can go that way or this way. Um, well, that's, <laughs> they both seem to head southeast. Uh, I'm going to go to the right. The right is right. Go to the right. It's the right way to go. They probably both go to the same spot anyway, to be honest. All right, so southeast. And we'll grab some bananas along the way. Very good. And, all right, looking good. Let's keep heading this way. Down there be the alligators. Although I don't see one right now. That's where they were when I killed them. All right, so we still need to be heading southeast. South? East. Yeah, we need to get south. Oh, yeah. South's got to go up. West has got to go down. I tend to get confused with, like... The way the directions work and stuff. It's a very simple thing. It's just, you know, I don't know. For some reason, my brain doesn't handle it very well sometimes. So that's why I keep checking. Make sure we're going the right way. Running through the jungle. Probably not a good idea. But this is where we find ourselves. Ooh, do I remember seeing bamboo when I was here? I, I don't know. I probably did. I probably just ignored it. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. All right, dead tree. Be careful. Listen for rattlesnakes. All right, west has got to get to uh, 36, and south has got to get to 42. Yeah, so we just, we just keep heading this direction. Okay. 36, 42. 36, 42. 36, 42. 36, 42. Probably more west at this point, but that's okay. Uh, let's take a look over here. This might be that giant... We might be in that area where there was like a... Might be in that area where there's like a giant overhang. Some of these for some carbs. Protein might be a problem. Yeah, pr um, protein. I mean... Uh, yeah. The thing is, I'm so heavy. The, the meat is like really heavy. So I can't really carry it. I do have the rations. I'll be alright. Hopefully. We'll see. Sure, I'll be okay. Uh, for, what is it? It's got to get to 36. Yeah. Southeast. Okay. So I think this right here is a giant cliffside. Yep. And then we got to head this way. I remember this. I remember this spot. This is, how, this is how I found the steamboat by myself on accident. Okay. Found ourselves another tribal village here. Um, like I said, I don't think there's anything to find in these. They're just kind of kind of neat to look around. Kind of barren. Oh, there's a... Yeah, coconut half there. Oh, what's this over here, though? Anything? Nah. This is probably story mode stuff, for all I know. Alright, fair enough. Let's take a look at our readings. We are heading for... 3642. And we are at 36... Oh, we're getting close. We just gotta head south. So, I was just looking over here. And right down there is where I need to go. It's not that far, but it is in a swamp. And my original idea was to go right outside where the steamboat is and make a base. Like a little, uh, not a big base, but like just a little bit of, um, I don't know what you call it, a forward operating base, I guess. Uh, but I don't think there's a lot of stuff to work with over there, so I decided to make one here. Um, I made this. This was a waste of time because I had to make this. See, the thing is, I was going to make a fire in here, but you can't make a fire in here. You could put down the ghost image, but I couldn't, like, put any sticks into it or anything so i had to make my own thing to protect it from the rain although it's not the rainy season so it's not going to rain anyway but whatever if i decide to come back i'll have a nice uh a nice base of operations there that'll be ready to go uh, i think i have everything i'm going to need here to like you know last uh plenty of time because the thing is that steamboat i've been through it and you have to go through the entire thing to get to like the top and then at the top you can get the map and i want the map that's what i'm here for and I don't know how to do it. Like, it's, it's pretty pretty confusing getting through there. And I want, like, a place to save. I want a place to, you know, if I screw up, I can reload and try and find that map. Because I really want the map. 
So, uh, I've got a bunch of stuff here. I, I'm, I don't have any mud, so I can't make storage eat things, but I kind of want to. Nah, I don't know if I want to do that much. That might be a bit much, but um, yeah, I do have a lot of stuff on me. That's the problem. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cook the meat and, you know, I don't think this stuff disappears. So I'm going to leave some of this stuff on the ground here and just, you know, get it before I leave again. Because I don't think that stuff will disappear. Uh, is there any other way I could shed some weight? Yeah, I can get rid of this. Um, I can get rid of some of these. Put these by the fire. So when I come here, I have like, you know, here we go. And I think that's pretty good. Went ahead and slept through the night. It's bright and early in the morning. So let's get going. Uh, I think my food and everything should be good. I cooked up that meat and ate. Oh yeah, everything's looking good. Everything's looking good. So we just need to head south at this point. Because 36 is where we need to be. And we need to get to 42 south. So that, that steamboat should be pretty close. I just don't know if I want to go this way or this way. I guess I'm going to go this way. I'm a little bit nervous about the alligators. But at the same time, I just saved. So if I die, you know, it's not the the end of the world. So let's let's listen. Oh, there it is. Okay. And we got to get around to the other side. Let's go this way. And we got to listen cuz we'll, we'll hear the crocodiles before we see them. Just like everything else in this game. All right, a lot of skulls, a lot of skeletons. Okay, we're looking. Okay, where are the where are the alligators? I know they're in here somewhere, right? All right, screw it, let's go. I don't know, I don't know where they are. Anyway, so here's the deal, guys. You got to get to the top of this ship, I guess. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's what I read. To get the map. And I want the map. I want the map, like, now. So, we're gonna try and get it out of this water. Because I do not want to be in that water. Come on, get out. Okay. So, yeah, we need, we need to get to the top of the ship to get the map. Or so I've been told. <laughs> when I came here, you know, in that one video I did about this update. You know, I didn't... I didn't get up there. I don't know what I have to do to get up there. But... Check out some of the loot. There wasn't usually anything good in any of these things either, so I'm just gonna... Actually, you know what? I could take it. Is that... Ooh, a tribal arrow. Obsidian. Obsidian blade. Okay, so there's better stuff in here than last time. Honestly, I don't want to be looting all this stuff because I just, you know, I just want to get the map. The freak was that? Some monster. Can I open this stuff? No. Okay. I don't think I can open anything. So let's look around here. I feel like this is where I'm supposed to go. Drop down there, right? Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Okay, so now we're inside. If we catch anything in here, we're going to want a melee weapon, so... Alright. So is this the part where I can go underwater to get to where I gotta go? Man, I don't know. Let's come out here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Go this way? No, that's where I was. Yeah, that's where I was. I've been up there. Can I go under here? No? Alright. Fair enough. Alright, let's go up this way. Nope, nope, no loot. Do we need to get in there? Do we need to get into the middle, or...? Because if we do, I don't see a way to get in there. Can't get, can't get even past there. All right, I figured it out. I just want to show you. Okay, so I came up on this side of the boat, and then I climbed up right on this part in the back. Okay. And you're simply going to run up to the front where I made that one drop, and you're just going to make a second drop. Is you know, I was thinking it was more complicated than it really is, you know. I'm looking for little tricks and, like, little things here and there and just getting all kinds of, you know, just, oh, wow. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Oh, well. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I was looking for all kinds of tricks. I was like, oh, where I got to go next? No, it's simple. You just drop down a second time. Okay. And then we come on in here, and now we are heading towards the inside. Well, we're already in the inside of the boat. Anything in there? Nope. And then we're going to come over here, and we're going to dive under the water. All right, at the last minute. All right. 
And then we are going to come up right here. There's a chest, yeah, there's a chest down here. Iron ore. All right, cool. And then we're going to come up here. All right. Now we're on the now we're in the real inside of the boat. The ship. And is that a yep, that's a chest too. I don't really care about bones, but I will take I will take the arrows. All right, whatever. Just take the freaking bone. If it's in the way, just take it. Oh, man, a lot of chests in here. Holy crap. Uh, well, a lot of empty chests, but still. An empty chest is still a chest. Alright, so what we got here? Maggots. Hey, you never know. I might get, a, might get an infection. Need some maggots. Old bone. More maggots. More bones. Maggots and bones. Come up here. Nothing. It seems like those small chests never have anything in them. Obsidian bone blade, we can't take it. There's no room for it. That's okay though. I got, a, I got an obsidian blow, bone blade on me, don't I? No, I couldn't take the other one either. Well, let's leave the stick blade and take the obsidian bone blade if I still can. Oh, where'd it go? Must have fell through or something. Oh, there it is. Cool. Yeah, because that's an upgrade. The obsidian stuff's like the best stuff in the game. All right, so we're gonna use this to get up to the toppity top, the very tippity top. And we're going to go in the, I don't know what you call this, the bridge, I guess. And here we are. We now have the map. Boom! Okay, map location. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, not that. Oh, here we go. All right, so we're right here. And the next place we're going to want to go to is 4040. So that will be... It's a little hard to see the numbers on this one. Yeah, it's really hard to see the numbers. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So 40, 40 has got to be right there. So we need to head mostly west and a little bit north. Now that we got the map, we're going to head pretty much straight west. And see if we can find that blue boat that's in the water. I've seen pictures of it. But I want to find it. So let's come through this way. I'm not sure if it's around alligators or whatnot, but... Is that above me, I hope? No. Nah. Man, are the snakes working with the tribal guys? Like, the tribal guys distract me, the snake tries to bite me. Are they in the cave? No, I think they're, I think they're above. Alright, good. You stay up there. You stay up there, I'll stay down here. Everyone will be happy. Everyone goes home happy. Looks like we're getting back in the croc, croc country. Alright, oh, that's nice. The forward operating base I made was in a good spot. That was a really good idea. Alright. Good, good, good. Keep going this way. We should be just about there. I think we need to go a little bit more north now. No, south. It's 40-40, uh, so that's easy. Alright, now it's just due south pretty much. Oh, I see it. Okay. Cool. Look what I done found. Well, let's explore this sucker. Let's see what's going on with this ship. I haven't heard too much about this one. I, I knew it existed, but... Uh, what is that? Nothing? Just dirty water? Oh, you could sleep on it. Oh, a survival guide. Oh, look at that! Can I... Uh, I'd like to spin it around or something. Can I read it? Yes, I can. Creepy Jar Bestseller. The Art of Survival uh, survival in the Amazon Jungle. Okay, is that it? That's it? Wait, can I actually read it, read it? Uh, oh, Medium Bamboo Shelter? Oh, I didn't know about that. What is that all about? Wait, let's see if I learn anything else. Can I take the book with me? Oh, Fishing Rod? Oh, I can make the... Okay, I didn't know there was all this... Uh, all these schematics and stuff I'd be able to learn. Anything else? Fishing hook? Wait, I already know how to make a fish hook. Pretty sure I've already made that before. Maybe I knew how to make the fishing rod too and I didn't know. Is it just going to go through every... No, nah, okay. So those few things. Alright. Oh, oh, that's a bone hook. That's a different one. That's a fish hook. Okay. 
And I learned the bamboo. Oh, look at that. Medium. Oh, that thing looks cool. I mean, I really don't have a need for it. Uh, 59 palm leaves. Jesus. Allows you game to save. I really don't have a need for it because, you know, I I've got a mansion. But it's still pretty cool. 24 long bamboo. Oh, God. I don't know if anyone's going to make that. I wonder how big it is. Actually, it might be bigger than I'm thinking. No, it's not. It's about what I thought it would be. Good looking shelter. It's just, I don't really see the, the need for it practically. Alrighty. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back to... I didn't take the location for my, uh, for my forward operating base. Okay, well... That's all right. We should just be able to head this way. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be able to figure out. I really got to take down that location and write it down. That was uh, a bit of a mistake. I think I've got my bearings, though. I think I'll be able to find it. Although I don't know for sure. Hmm. New map location. Okay. Uh, probably about right here, right? So we need to head this way. Just pretty much straight east at this point. Yeah, okay. Well, that's cool because um, because I built at the tribal village, uh, I actually have it marked on my map anyway. So I don't even need to... I mean, I should probably... Actually, I don't need a location. I could get it from the map. Yeah. So the fact that I built at a tribal location was just about the best idea I could have had. And I see a turtle. So I'm going to go and grab his ass. Come on. Turtle up, bro. Wait, what the hell? I said turtle up. Don't make me done tell you again. The most horrific part of this turtle thing is he's actually alive when I yank him out of his shell. Like, you don't kill him. I thought I thought you killed him and then gutted him while he was dead. No, that's not the case. He turtles up, and then you proceed to rip him. Oh, God, I don't even want to talk about it. I used to have turtles as, a, as pets when I was a kid. I grew up on a farm, so. All right, so we should be able to come right through this way. I hate those because they're like a light color, and they, they make me... Uh, Sometimes I think they're jaguars. We good? Not really sure. Uh, well, let's just keep heading east. What the fuck? Uh, I can't... You can't, like, throw the spear when he's attacking you. It's so irritating. There you go. You run away, you bitch. I'm glad I didn't throw my spear. Now, was that actually him? <laughs> when I was saying, oh, I think that's a jaguar. Was that actually a jaguar? <laughs> I don't know. All right. So we're looking for... Here we are, back at the forward operating base. And I do got some leeches. So let's take care of that. And let's take a look at our armor as well. Because that armor took some damage. All right. 45 there. 32 there. 40 there. And oh wow, the legs didn't even I didn't even take that much damage. It seems like I took most of the damage on my left arm. 42 on the right, on the left leg doesn't seem too bad. 40 on the right leg doesn't seem too bad. The right arm took some damage. I think he was attacking my arms. I'm gonna have to make some backup armor when I get home because I don't like the idea of my armor, you know, being broken and me not having, you know, backup for it. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and make another fire. I'm gonna cook up some food, spend the rest of the night here. It should be hopefully no issues. There we go. And then in the morning, I'm going to make my way home. And I think I am going to call this one here. Guys, if you want to see more of Green Hell, make sure you uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. I know there's about half of you watching my videos that are not subscribed. And, uh, you know, that's cool. I get not wanting to subscribe to somebody. But just so you know, when you subscribe to somebody, it really unbelievably helps their channel. It's a big deal in the YouTube algorithm, just so you know. So if you like what I do, if you think it's worth it, if you want to help see my channel, you want to be a part of my channel, you know, and really, like, be one of the people who's going to help me, you know, really make it on YouTube, then, uh, you know, consider subscribing if you like my stuff, you know? That would be awesome. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.